So when we were kids, Idris liked to torture bugs and animals. In fact, I remember this one time he took my cat. Oh, hey, hey, what's up, Idris? What, where'd you get that cat, man? Pretty cat. I, I know it, really. I, I just found him. I, he, he's a stray. No one's going to miss him. What are we talking about today, man? What are we talking about today? Empathy, I, I guess. Yeah, or should I say people who lack empathy for creatures like bugs mm. and animals? Yeah, uh, that is timely. Did you hear that some researchers in England have found this area in the brain that some folks are calling the empathy center for human beings? Yeah, you know, these researchers have found a region in the brain that imaging studies show becomes a lot more active and human beings are feeling empathy, empathy, like empathy, whatever. Yeah, I heard about that, Idris. I heard about it. I'm kind of surprised you did, though. But uh, basically, like you said, there's this area of the brain called the anterior cingulate cortex, or the ACC. Well, the ACC plays a role in regulating things like heart rate, blood pressure, so on and so forth. But it's a specific portion of the ACC called the subgenual anterior cingulate cortex, or the SGACC, if you're cool, seems to play a chief role in empathy and whether or not people feel empathy. And if they do feel empathy, how much empathy they feel. Yep, so the SGACC area of the brain activates when people are behaving empathetically. That's interesting, but so what? Why is understanding where empathy comes from important? I kind of think empathy may be overrated myself. I mean, you know. Oh, just give me the cat. Get your hands off my cat. Get your hands off my cat. Okay. Oh, God. Well, those same researchers found that not all people have overly active SGACC regions of the brain. So it's not only important to understand where empathy comes from, Idris, okay? But it's also important to understand why some people may be more empathetic and why other people may be less empathetic. Maybe people with sluggish SGACC regions of the brain, for example. Good point, Professor. After all, a lack of empathy is a hallmark finding in people with emotional disorders that mm -hmm. range from narcissism to antisocial mm -hmm. personality disorder to bipolar disorder. Mm -hmm. So if we know where empathy comes from and what helps create it, blah, blah, blah. You know, I I'm going to go play with this cat now. I'll see you later, man. Come on, cat. You're mine. Come on. Let's yeah, if we know where empathy comes from and what helps to create it, maybe we can come up with treatments in the future to help those people who suffer from disorders characterized by Pretty cat. a lack of empathy. Pretty Idris! Cat. Idris! Where Pretty you at, cat? Oh my god. I'm Dr. Jamil. That was Dr. Idris and the cat in some real danger. And this has been today's medical moment. Stay healthy, guys. Stay healthy. Twin Doctors TV. Educate, inspire, entertain. Follow us at www.twindoctorstv.com and on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Stay healthy. Bye now.